guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here thank you for joining me today I really do appreciate your time and support so today we are doing the long awaited is it a dupe video so we've got the ABH soft glam I'm hoping this is in focus it's a beautiful beautiful palette so it just looks like that um, and then the dupe I've got is the Revolution Reloaded Velvet Rose Palette which looks like that. Let me just check we're still recording. Yeah. Um, so yeah we're still recording so I'm just going to jump into it. I'm not going to go through all the hassle of you guessing which eye is which. Um, so we're just going to, we'll use Soft Glam on the right eye and we'll use um, Revolution Reloaded on the left. Not too sure what kind of look I want to do yet. But they've both got cream ivory shades in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the brushes and then I'm going to colour switch them off. Um, so I'm just going in with Tempera first of all. It's quite powdery. So this is the first time of me using the new lens to do an eyeshadow tutorial so I'm hoping it's going to turn out okay. Right so I'm colour switching that shade off and we're going to go in with the number one shade from the Velvet Rose. These don't have shade names, they just have numbers so it's just that one there. Same brush, but I have colour switched it off. Okay. Right, where's my crease brush? So I'm going in with the Morphe crease brush. What are we going to use? Okay. So for the lid shade, I think I'm going to use Sultry. Um, so first of all, let's go in with Orange Soda as the transition shade. Again, the ABH one is very, very powdery. I need to get some backups of these brushes. They are so good, guys. Right, so that's blended out like a dream. Right, so we've run that through the colour switch. And the duplicate shade is this one. So that one is shade 7. It's quite powdery as well, but not as powdery as the ABH. So I'm just going to do this look and then I'm going to my mum's. My niece is at my mum's today. I saw her yesterday when I went to my sister's. But she's already been on the phone. When are you coming? Um, so yeah, I'll have to go there soon. I think the ABH one is a little bit deeper so I need to go in with a little bit more of the revolution and try and build it up. Not used this ABH palette in ages. Just put some of the orange soda in the outer V and I'll do the same with the revolution one. So now I want my oval brush. Right, I think we'll use Sienna. That one there. Don't know how well this is in focus. I 
and I'm going to define the crease a little bit. Let's um, get that other brush and blend that out. Yeah, that looks nice. Run that through the colour switch. Run the oval brush through the colour switch. Now, which is the comparable shade? I think it would be this one. I think that would be the comparable shade. That's number 12. Right, so this isn't as pigmented. We need to put a little bit of a deeper shade over the top. So I'm going to go in with this one here. So that's number six. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so I think I need to blend the left eye out a little bit more. It seems a little bit more pigmented. Right, so now I want to go in with, where are you? Tempera from the ABH palette. This one here, just on the um, brow bone. And then number one in the Revolution palette. Right, I'm going to use this Japanese brush. So it's my spongy brush. Um, it's the Japanese 346. And I'm going to go in with Sultry. Uh, whoops, the brush has come out. Yeah, I'm going to go in with Sultry, which is a really nice bronze shade. Oh, that's pretty. Right, so we'll be spritzing the brush in a minute. Right, so just tear the colour off that. And then, the dupe shade to that is this one. So that one is number 6789. I think I need a little bit more of that one. Just to make it a little bit more pigmented. Right, let's split the, split the brush. I'm just going to use the Primark Glow Setting Spray. Going to go in with the shade Sultry first for the right eye. Now, um, with the shade number nine in the Revolution. Um, then we are going to go in with a in a corner. I think I'm going to use bronze. So that's the bronze shade. I'll just go in with the Real Techniques accent brush. It 
is a little bit darker than what I would normally use for inner corner, but it's doing the job. Oh darn it! Put the ADH one on. That's because I'm not used to doing the dupe videos. Well, I think it's all come off now. Okay, let's go in with the Revolution one this time. So it's going to be that shade there, which is a foiled shade, so it might not look exactly the same. No, that one's got more glitter in it, I would say. Um, and then, we're going to go back in with Sienna for the lash line. I'll just use this Zoeva spot liner brush. Got quite a bit of fallout from the ABH. Right now, for Sienna, I need to dip into two shades. So, this one here, which is um, 12, and then that one there, which is 6. So, we need to dip into both of those to get the right shade. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the Essence, the False Lashes Mascara Extreme Volume and Curl. This is new to the collection because the other ones weren't working so well for me. So let's pop this on. So I'm just running that through the colour switch. And then running through the colour switch again, blend the left eye. Right, so that's that. Let me go and grab a lippy and then we'll talk about the palettes. Right, so I thought I would use this Makeup Forever one. It's in the shade... Rouge Artiste Intense, number one. And it's got that bronze look about it so I thought I would use this okay I think that looks nice actually um, let me look in a bigger mirror to me they look exactly the same the only difference is the formula um, the ABH formula is soft and buttery and they really do go on really, really nicely. Whereas the Revolution Reloaded palette, um, they're kind of chunky, but this palette was like £5 and I think the ABH one is about £48. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure it's about £48. I got this as a gift. I didn't purchase it because I had this one and... I had this one and I knew it was a dupe so I didn't want to go out and get the soft glam but I did get it as a Christmas present last year and um, I wanted to do this video before I gave it this um, palette away here. I don't need both palettes in my collection. It's good to have it for a reference um, on the actual ABH soft glam but I don't feel like I need it and it's just taking room up in my drawers. Um, so yeah I will pass that on. I think it will go to my mum. Um, and yeah guys, this concludes the video. Leave your thoughts down below as always. I'm always interested in reading them. 
please like it really does help out the channel share and comment and if you're not already subscribed I'm currently working on a giveaway that will go up in the next month I would say and um, I would love for you to take part of it and I will see you in my next one bye guys